Hello everybody, it's Vano Rich here for Record Store Day. It's 10, 10 o'clock at 10, 11, Saturday night, it's still Record Store Day. I worked Friday night, got off work 6.30 in the morning, drove to Amoeba Records, I was in line by 7.30. Um, first time I've ever went early, stood in line. Last year I went over there. I probably got there about 3.30 in the afternoon, and I pretty much got everything I wanted last year. So I was kind of debating, do I really even need to stand in line? But uh, I decided to, and it was cool. I met a really cool guy. Um, the Amoeba Records store, they, they released a, a video, and yours truly is on there for a very short moment. Um, and the guy that I met, the one that he, he he said he was there for the Courtney Barnett, cool guy. He's a writer, Hollywood writer, really cool guy. But yeah, I had a good time. I ended up meeting up with a uh, Tony Scott or Tone Scott. That was fun. I ended up even helping him make a, his video, a contest entry, and I can't remember the guy's name, but it's like show three records you know, in, in different surroundings. I'll leave a link to that. It was pretty, he did a good job. And since he posted his, I figured I would post mine. And yeah, I did meet up with uh, Tony Scott. Anyways, I thought this year was a pretty good, uh, there, it was good. There was a, a lot of, I mean, there, there was the Bruce Springsteen greatest hits. I don't know if you really need that. But I actually had 17 on my list that I went through at work that night, the night prior. And David Axelrod was one that was on my list. The, the David Bowie Live, but I ended up, I listened to the David Axelrod that night and I go, nah, I don't really, I don't think it's that good of an album. And uh, I listened to a couple of, and Sun Ra was another one, The Symbols. I listened to that and I thought it was okay. I was thinking of getting that. But then I listened to the two, uh, some clips from the Grant Green. And I go, man, this is some funky shit. So I put those two on my list. So how it works at Amoeba, you're in line and they went around and they gave you a list of everything they had to offer. And you, you know, you marked it. And I ended up marking nine. And as things, you know, sell out, they cross it off the list. Um, but I ended up getting six out of the nine. The, the ones I didn't get was the Pink Floyd. They were sold out of that one. I didn't get the Boston Hardcore Record Store Day exclusive. They only made 500 of that one, so I wasn't expecting it. And one of the Grand Greens I did not get. But I did get a couple of Amoeba bags. And if Corey doesn't have one I, I'll send one his way if he wants maybe I'll even put something in just let me know Corey that's if you watch my videos the first one I'm gonna show so I, I got six and I'm, I'm really happy it, I spent some money though but uh, the first one I got here this is where everybody can start hating because it is the, the I usually don't get the gimmicky stuff I get stuff that's Never been released before. Rare stuff. But I did pick up the Dwarfs. Lucifer's Crank. And, uh... The reason I say it's game... This is the original cover of the original album. I, I, I kind of like that. I like this kind of actually better than that cover. But it's on clear vinyl. And it is etched all the way through. I mean, there's etchings... And on one side here, the is where you can play the songs. There's four songs on this side, and then you turn it over, and there's four songs on here. And I believe there's like a, like a lock groove. And so right here where the the grooves are, they have etching here. And on this side, where the grooves are here, they have etchings. Here. So there's etchings all the way through. So you can see etchings all the way through it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. 
but yeah, it's pretty cool. It's it's pretty unique, and uh, it was one of the cheaper. It was nineteen dollars, well twenty dollars say, so it wasn't cheap, but. I looked on Discogs what the originals go for, and they go for about that. So I figured I, I was there. I picked it up. And what I did is I, like I said, I marked nine. And I knew that I wasn't going to get them all. And if I did, I would have dropped some off because I wouldn't have been able to afford all nine. The second one I got is Circle Jerk's gig. This is a, a gig from the 85, I believe. Um... This has never been released in the U.S. on vinyl. It's a CD release only. I don't have it on CD, so I figured I would get it. This was probably uh, this was definitely the cheapest of the of the records I got. I mean, if I had the CD, I wouldn't get this. But I did listen to this Friday night, and it's excellent. Circle Jerks gig. It is really good. And uh, yeah, I was I'm really happy with this one. And the Dwarfs one, that's a good, uh, that Dwarfs one, even though it's a 12 inch, it was originally released on a 7 inch EP, four songs on each side. But yeah, this is a good, 22 songs, 11 songs on each side, really good live. Now this next one, this is a band that uh, Vinyl in the Van turned me on to, and this is the actual, the album that he showed. And this is a record store day release of that album. The Heads. Everybody knows we got nowhere. And this is numbered 139 out of 500. Only 500 of these record store day. And uh, I should have taken it out. I hate this shit. Sorry about that. I usually do this. I don't know if you've noticed. I usually do that before I start making the videos. But yeah, really cool. I have not heard this. I haven't heard, listened to any of these, actually. Like I said, I was up all night. Didn't get home till noon. Slept maybe three hours, and then we went to go see uh, A Quiet Place. That was a good movie, man. Um, the quietest movie I've ever seen in my life, though. But yeah, I'm sure this is good. Um, last year, I got a, the Heads Record Store Day release, and it was fantastic. So I'm sure this is going to be just as good. And this is really, it's printed on really nice, uh, oh yeah, cool, cool labels, so I'll check that out, dude. Both sides, psychedelic, eh? Yeah, but the Heads are a really good band, modern band, and the, these labels, same thing. But yeah, I'm real happy with that one. Now, there were two 60s albums last year i think i got almost all 60s this year i only picked up one that like i said that david axelrod was on my list but after listening to it i got you know i didn't really care for it but this album here the end introspection by the end i didn't when i initially went through the list i didn't even this didn't even ring a bell it's produced by bill wyman bill wyman of the rolling stones I mean, I didn't even know what it was, and I just passed it right by. And the Hogs Ear Report made a comment on a video. Am I seeing things, or are they releasing this? And that's what I love about the VC. It makes us all aware of stuff that we wouldn't have normally been aware of. And this is a double album. They got the, the original album, and another album the end retrospection and this is all unreleased stuff now originals of this are quite expensive so a record store day release is pretty cool and you got this side is this way so yeah very cool this record is a double album and it was not cheap let's see what the i'll show one of them pretty cool inner sleeves yeah. I haven't been showing the vinyl really and it's kind of like a frosty clear pretty cool but yeah this I, I listened to this last night and 
the introspection by the end is fantastic. This is a great uh, psych album. And I wish they would have released more rare psych albums for Record Store Day, you know? And, I mean, the, not only did they release Bruce Springsteen's Greatest Hits, they also released Kenny Loggins on Pooh Corner. I mean, come on. Are you kidding me? I, I guess there's a market for it. But I have a feeling that those two records are going to be widely available next week and for weeks to come. Now, the one album that really blew me away, actually the two that I really were not on my radar until last night when I checked out a, a video of the making of these two albums. This is a triple album. It's Grant Green, jazz guitarist, from Paris to Antibes, I, I, I don't know, 1969 to 1970 recordings, and then Funk in France. It's a triple record set, which is really cool. This was not cheap either. Um, side A is side. A. The first record is all studio stuff recorded in France. It's uh, with a guitar, bass, drums, and another guitar. And then the other two records are recorded live with uh, Grant Green on guitar, Claude Barté on tenor saxophone, Clarence Palmer on organ and Bill, Billy Wilson on drums. Now I listened to, not these actual, they, all this stuff is previously unreleased. And uh, I think it's a record store day exclusive of 1,500. So I wasn't sure I was gonna get this. And the other one was a double album. That one was sold out. But uh, this is some funky, really funky, I, I really want that one. The other one, the double album, it was recorded in 75. And uh, I really want to get that too. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I mean, this is nice. Got a nice picture of Paris there. But yeah, this is well done. There's even a, a book. But like I said, this is some really, really cool picture of the dude. I mean, I was, I've was i heard of Grand Green, but I've never heard him. And man, it's, this doesn't sound like his 60s stuff, is from what I'm, I'm gathering. But yeah, this is some, it, it's really funky. Here's a picture. But yeah, I'm very happy. This is a total new something for me to explore, and very happy with this, man. And I'm going to, Try and track down the, the double album. Now, like I said, I wasn't able to get the Boston Hardcore limited to 500, but I did get one of the other ones. And this one was limited to 500. Amoeba Records, they, the guys that shoot, the, we, we talked to them afterwards, the guys that actually make the In My Bag videos, they were shooting, you know, the going ons. And they talked to me and the guy that I met in the video. I think 45 seconds into the video, you, you see Vinyl Rich. But I mentioned the two that I wanted was the Boston Hardcore and the Punk 45 seven inch box set. This also was limited to 5,000, I mean 500. So I wasn't, I didn't think I would get this either, but it was not cheap. So that's probably why I got it. I don't want to get it too messed up here. But I'm going to probably put it back in here. So try to... So it doesn't get all jacked up. But I'm going to open this up. I haven't even, I haven't even seen what this looks like inside. It's put out by Soul Jazz Records. They, they, they produce um, some double albums. The Punk 45 series. I have one of them. They're very well done, but I thought I would pick this up. Uh, I probably should have opened it. <laughs> Come on, you son of a bitch. All right. Nice box. And it comes with five, five or six singles. XX is this one. 
not really familiar with this band. This one here is the Bizarros. Oh, the Rubber City Rebels, Rebels, Detroit band, and Bizarros, a split. I know both of those bands. Pretty cool. Rubber City Rebels, they they were from Detroit, but that they did move to the LA area in the 70s. And uh they played Whiskey a Go Go and Roxy quite often. This is one where I do have the original of this one. The Flesh Eaters. And we got one more, the Scabs. Don't just sit there. Leave me alone. Now this one here is pretty cool. It's it opens up like this. Looks like there's four songs on there. And this one here is the Hillside Strang the Hollywood Squares. Okay, I remember that band too. With Hillside Strangler. But yeah. Pretty cool little box set. Not real fancy, but only five hundred of them made, supposedly. But anyways, I thought it was a good record store day. I don't know if I would stand in line again. But it was pretty cool. And the line went pretty... They're, they're very well organized. Take care. Um, I'm going to go... I'm going to upload this and I'm going to go watch everybody else's record store day videos. I'm sure there's a ton of them. I haven't went to YouTube yet, but yeah, I'm sure there's a bunch of them. Anyways, take care, guys and gals. Happy Record Store Day.